a lie, that better prompts can give you consistent characters in AI animation. If that were true, Google wouldn't have introduced Nano Banana, and no one would be so excited about it. Before Nano Banana, the biggest problem every animator faced was not being able to create 100% consistent characters in animations. Even with their best efforts with various prompts, the output looked not cool, unimpressive, and weird. Imagine you are watching Frozen, Moana, or Up, and the characters' faces are not consistent in the movie. Would you like them still? No. But now this problem is fixed. In this video, I will show you how to create perfect AI animated stories exactly like those films, where your characters will stay consistent across every scene. And learning this is not an option for you. It's mandatory now. I'll explain why at the end of this video. Plus, I'll make a short demo, around 45 seconds to a minute only. But in that short time, you'll learn everything you need to create a full 10-minute or even 100-minute video. The main goal here is simple, to keep your character consistent from start to finish. So I won't dive into stuff like outlier topic selection or writing high retention scripts with killer hooks. Instead, I'm just picking a popular story that everyone knows, like Pandora's box. The script will sound simple and ChatGPT generated perfect for a one-minute demo. And since this is only for demonstration, I'm not sharing the script writing prompt here. If you want killer script writing prompts, check out the other videos on this channel. Because now we are heading straight into the main setup. You've got this amazing story in your head, but you need a visual star, characters. That's where open art comes in. It has no connection with OpenAI, so no need to thank Sam Altman. Log in here and for every first timer, you get 40 free credits. Now, head to OpenArt's homepage and click on Image from the left panel. When you get there, don't forget to choose Nano Banana as your model. That's the most essential point of this video. This Nano Banana is what keeps the character consistent in all AI image generators. So I wanted to create a cute, but smart Pixar-inspired character, Pandora. But you know what? Image generation is the second step. The first step? Creating the prompts that will generate the images. So I asked ChatGPT to describe how Pandora looks. The description came back extremely detailed, which was both a blessing and a curse. Because we just can't give this much information as an image prompt. So, I asked ChatGPT again to convert that description into an actual image prompt, but with a special pixel art twist. And this is what it gave me. Pixar-style cinematic 3D render of Pandora in a glowing Greek temple, 16 by 9 landscape. She's a stunning young woman with radiant skin, flowing golden hair, and curious blue eyes, wearing a white silk gown with golden embroidery. Pandora holds an ornate golden box slightly open, releasing glowing mist and shadowy spirits. Warm sunlight filters through marble columns, reflecting off the polished floor. Her expression shows wonder and hesitation as ethereal lights swirl around her. Soft Pixar lighting, rounded character design, dreamy fantasy mood, ultra-detailed cinematic composition, magical realism, high resolution. Put this into the blank space in the open art. Select the image ratio, which should be 16 to 9 for YouTube videos. Now set the slider for how many images you want to generate. But remember, each generation costs 15 credits. So here, you need to apply your intelligence. Jokes apart, I generated this one that just clicked with me. But this is the point where either it can lead to a great thing or something terribly messy. Everything depends on your clarity and presence of mind. Because in the first try, you will never get an entirely clean image. Your character will definitely have a background screaming for attention. Just look at mine. It could be a forest or a crowded city or anything, but you cannot keep any of them. Otherwise, those colors and patterns will mix and match with your main character and the consistency will vanish. So follow this simple trick. Generate a new image with a plain white background. Just the character should be visible clearly in the image, nothing else. Then bring that image back into Nano Banana. Go to the Omni Reference section and drag your character in there. Now prompt it to look directly at the frame and keep that background white. This clean version becomes your golden reference. Every future image you make will be compared to this one. Get this part right, no compromise, because it's basically your character's ID card, breaking down your story. Now you've got your character looking consistent. It's time to actually tell your story, frame by frame. Here's what I did. 
I took my entire story and pasted it into ChatGPT. Then, asked it to figure out how many scenes I'd need to cover the full story in Pixar-style pixel animation. It spit out a number. Then, I opened a fresh chat in ChatGPT, pasted the entire story again here, and this time, I asked GPT to generate image prompts and corresponding video prompts with specific camera angles and movements, all designed for pixel animation style. Within seconds, ChatGPT handed me everything I needed. Every scene described, every camera moves planned. It's like having a storyboard artist who works for free. Now, this is the main part of the video, because we are going to generate the final scenes, frame by frame. But before we move on, I've got something special for audience. This month, I'm opening the doors for just 10 people to join my private coaching program, where I personally teach everything I've learned about building and scaling profitable YouTube channels. It's a 10-week live coaching journey, where we'll work together step by step. From finding your perfect niche, crafting videos that actually get views, and mastering YouTube SEO, to building a content creation business that can start earning you real income. You'll get direct access to my frameworks, tools, and the exact systems I've developed over 10 years in this industry. Everything I wish I had when I started. You'll also get a chance to connect with my script writers and video editors, the same team who helped build AI Maskman from 0 to 60,000 subscribers. If you've been trying to grow but feel stuck, overwhelmed, or tired of guessing what works, this is your opportunity to get personal guidance and finally make it happen. Book a free call using the link below, and if you qualify, you'll get the chance to work with me one-on-one -on -one inside this program. This isn't for everyone. It's only for serious action takers who are ready to invest time and effort into their success. Spots usually fill up fast, so if you've been waiting for the right time, this is it. You will find the link in the description. Let's see if you're a fit. And now let's get back to the video. To generate the final scenes in open art, we will go to the image section again. Again, make sure Nano Banana is selected in Open Art. Put your main white background reference image into the Omni Reference section. And then, generate your first scene using the image prompt you created. When you see the result, that character looks exactly like your reference. Just keep generating more images for the scenes, and you will experience what consistency looks like. It's amazing. You just cross the main challenge. But the only problem is, static images are cool, but they're not a movie. To make it perfect, you need to animate them. So now go to the video section. Here, you will see a lot of video models that you can use. Don't look for Nano Banana here. That only works for image generation, not for video. I think you remember that we have our video prompts ready as well. So get them now, paste them in and hit generate. But before generation, you can turn on this auto sound option. This will automatically add sound effects based on the visuals. Honestly, it will help you reduce your editing time. So, I will turn it on. Look, the scene came out amazing. Smooth movement, consistent character, everything working just perfectly. But some of it lacks one thing. No voice. Here's where your story actually starts talking. First, we need to generate the entire voiceover. Eleven Labs is the best platform for this. Head over there and click on Voices. There are literally thousands of voice options. I picked one that seemed suitable for my character, Pandora add it to my voices. And then, go to text-to-speech, paste your script here, pick the voice you selected. From the side panel, you can modify the speed or stability of the voice using the slider. If everything is perfect, just hit generate and download the audio. Now you've got a voice for your story. It can be entirely AI narration, or you can use some part of it for lip sync too. That's your choice. But if you go for lip syncing, that part is a little tricky. Because your character's mouth needs to match what's being said. That's often a problem because a lot of times a character's head doesn't stay as stable as it needs for lip syncing. So you might have to do trial and error a few times in lip sync tool. Drag your character image and the audio file together into the lip sync tool. This lip sync tool is not 100% perfect. So my advice, only lip sync a handful of scenes. Don't go overboard because too many scenes and you'll spend forever fixing tiny mouth movements. But if you get this right, your main thing is done. And once you've got scenes, voiceover, maybe some lip-synced moments, it's time for the final editing and turning it into a full-fledged video. I used CapCut because it's easy, but any editing software works. Open CapCut and create a new project. Import your voiceover first. Make sure you drop this into the timeline before anything else. Because your voiceover is the skeleton. 
Everything else hangs on it. Every visual, every scene, every transition has to match the timing of that narration. Now import all your generated videos, your background music if you have any, and arrange them one after another on the timeline. Trim, adjust, make sure the pacing feels right. You can add filters if you want, but honestly, if your visuals are already great, just like mine, you don't need much editing here. Maximum, you can throw in some smooth transitions between scenes. Adding AI captions is also a good thing for YouTube. Basically, these little touches make it feel polished and professional like you actually knew what you were doing. When everything looks right, watch the whole thing once. No shortcuts. Does it feel like the story you wanted to tell? Does the pacing work? Are your characters consistent throughout? If you're happy with the final outcome, export it in HD, in 1080p or 4K, depending on how much you want to flex. And that's it. You've just made a Pixar-style AI animated video with completely consistent characters. No crazy workarounds, no characters that suddenly look like different people halfway through your film. Just clean, consistent animation that tells your story. And if you are an animator, learning these steps is not an option, but mandatory for you. Because previously viewers used to tolerate animated videos with all those half-consistent characters. Honestly, those were painful to watch. But since now we got Nano Banana that keeps the characters beautifully consistent, like you are using real actors. If you still create animations like before with inconsistent characters, it's a real turnoff. So, watch these videos again and again and learn these steps. This is easier than you think. And in case of any confusion, drop me your questions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more major updates like this. Whoa, what's that ancient jar? It looks magical. This one is a mystery box. The gods themselves gave it to me. A gift, they said. But they warned me. Never open it. At first I obeyed, but every day the box seemed to whisper my name. My curiosity kept growing until I couldn't take it anymore. The moment I lifted the lid, everything changed. Dark shadows flew out. Sickness, greed, pain, spreading across the world. I tried to close it, but it was too late. The world would never be the same again. Epimetheus asked, That's terrifying. Was anything left inside? Yes! Just one small light. Hope. It stayed at the bottom, shining softly. Reminding me that even in the worst moments, hope always survives.